Check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance. Enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. Question for you guys. Can you update a mapping table? Let's have a look. So I have a mapping table here that is from to 1 to and I want it to be mapped to X and Y. So let's just create a table first so I can do the mapping. So I've just created record numbers as data and then I'm applying the map to that is map underscore data to different record numbers because it's one two three four five and if it doesn't match i want it to leave it as null um, and i'm creating just five instances let's run it and see how it looks and now i'm just going to create it on the front end good so now i have a column called data and i have the mapped data that is over here i have one and two in my mapping table and x and y has been mapped yeah Nothing special, right? This is our general mapping function. Great. But what if now for the rest of it, I want to update this mapping table? How do I do that? Um, well, essentially, what you could do is just go on writing mapping load star in line and then create the same thing here. Or what you could do is you could create a new table. So I'm going to create a new table with the same name. So the same mapping table name, but a completely new table, same column. It can have different columns as well. It doesn't matter actually. Um, and in this case, now I'm going to make it three, four, Z, let's say W. Let's see what happens now. So now I have one mapping table. This has been mapped. And then I have another mapping table, which I want to update this first mapping table and then I'm going to apply it to my data set. So let's see what happens. You saw here that these three are empty and now all of a sudden you see Z and W have been uh, mapped. Why? Because the mapping table now has two more values. That's really cool, right? So what you could do is you could have a table in the middle of your two new mapping tables. So let's say that there is some information in the middle table that you want to update the mapping table with. So let's have a look. So I'm going to create a temporary table here. Load star inline and um, from to and I'm just going to say let's say the same things that is great and in this particular mapping table, I'm doing mapping load star resident temp and let's drop table temp here. Good. So what are we doing? We have a mapping table here. Then I have a different table in the middle and this table contains information that I want to update here. So I'm doing another mapping table, but in this case, I've used the same name as my old mapping table and I want the data to be updated there. So I'm just going to do a resident from my temp table and then I'm applying it to my data. So now if you see in the front end, we don't have some information here. Let's see what happens when we load it. Now you see that even the last value has has been updated. So essentially what has happened is our main mapping table has been updated with the information in the middle table. Super cool, right? So the answer to can you update your mapping table is an unequivocally yes. Um, yeah, so um, check out the link in the description below for the ClickSense Masterclass course. You're going to learn a lot and students have really, really loved it. And I'm also working on like a script library. So different snippets of scripts that you could just copy and paste into your uh, workspace. Um, so it should help you work so much faster. Uh, if you're interested, sign up for the newsletter because you'll get more information from that. And, um, and for those who have bought the course, well, thanks. And yeah, you'll be the first in line to get the new script uh, library that I'm building. So um, yeah, if you haven't checked out the course, check it out now.
please leave a like would super appreciate it and um, i'll see you in the next one peace